Good morning everyone, it's Kylie. Um, I'm here bright and early on a Sunday morning because you know I've got nothing better to do. No, <laughs> I don't I don't sleep in very well. It's ten to seven, but I've actually been up for about an hour I think. Um, and then I thought I would come through. Um, this is going to be just a quick little project, probably won't take very long, but um, I was cutting out flowers from this book last night as you can see just cutting out some more um, and then as I was cutting out the little flowers I came across um, I'll put the description down there because I actually it's a lovely book this one um, anyway as I was coming across I found some um, full pages of um, pictures so I saw sort of, that wouldn't be able to be cut out individually um, so I thought I will put them aside and make some envelopes just some simple folded ones and then as I again as I was um, cutting out I found some larger um, pictures um, and I thought I would get my punch board out and punch some smaller envelopes out of those ones. Um, I have a, I mean, there's lots of them around, this is a We Are Memory Keepers, um, this is a three in one, so it actually makes envelopes, these paper bows and a box, and I've never done the other two, I've only used it for the, um, for the um, envelopes, but I sometimes fumble around a little bit, so I actually already measured and cut them. Just in case. Well, I, yeah, I wasn't sure whether I would film doing it or anything, but um, I would do that. So um, that's what I've done. So anyway, these are. I haven't cut the corners. Oh, there's my other corner. It has a corner around it on it, but I just realised I didn't do it. So I'll quickly punch these. Um, so yes, so I thought we'd do a couple of those as well, so a couple of those and some of these ones, which I'll just do as the larger, the larger envelopes. Um, I finally got down to Spotlight yesterday, so I bought some, this isn't, but this is just a, I don't know if, hell my brand, I don't know what it's like, um, a fabric glue. I don't know if you can see that from the light. Um, I've got my tacky glue that works quite well on fabric, but um, I did notice a couple of things I was doing yesterday. You can see the glue through. So I thought we'd give that a go, something different. I also finally bought, oops, um, bought some plain thread, <laughs> coloured thread rounds, because I've been using pale yellow. So that's good. So now I just need to thread my machine with those. <laughs> um, what else did I get? Oh, and I bought it a punch. So they make these label shapes. I did think it'd be good to use as a tab shape, but it sort of folds the wrong way. I folded one already. There we go. So when you fold it, I guess I could always just snip off the edges. Um, yeah, you don't, I guess it's alright though, you don't quite end up with the right, the right, um, shape, but it's not terrible, anyway, um, but even without using that, I quite just like the label shape, so I will be, um, using those probably, so that's cool, I still haven't cleaned up my mess from the last few days and I still have labels everywhere. I've got Roxy Creations labels all over my desk. <laughs> so, um, yes, it's a mess, but anyway. So we have my in-laws come around for dinner or lunch today, which will be quite nice. And yeah, so I'll have to start cleaning soon because <laughs> the rest of the house is a bit of a mess. 
but that's okay. Um, so these ones I just thought I'd make plain folded um, envelopes and we'll collage on them a little bit. Um, and then obviously these ones I've already cut to size for those little for those little ones. So um, I just thought oh, that was such pretty and I was going to cut around these a little bit but um, no I've decided not to now and that I'll make now I'm not as much as I'm sort of measuring here I'm not too phased I'm just roughly folding I don't mind if they're all different sizes really um, So yes, I'll just fold these. I was playing around, I'm like, which way do I fold it? Do I fold it so it's looking the right way on that side or the right way on that side? I didn't know. So I did the right, I don't know. I guess it's a bit of a call really. You decide which way you're gonna do it. So I already trimmed these straight yesterday so I'd torn them out of the book um, but I already got my paper cutter trimmer out and just trimmed them mostly straight you can see there's a little bit of a daggy bit which doesn't really matter um, so yeah I have prepped I don't prep very often but I did then uh, do here Oops, I didn't prep that one very well either, apparently, but that's fine. So there we go. Just those three. Oh, wow, look at that. That's pretty good. They didn't have to be the same size. So these I've already cut. So this one I've got to trim a bit off because obviously it's a bit... Um, I actually want... Oh, <laughs> this was a five-inch five inch piece of paper six inch piece of paper and there wasn't actually an envelope for a six inch um, so I just sort of played around to get the position of the flower in the middle um, yeah oh, Lulu's wandering around hello Lulu she's discovering my craft table which is quite amusing because you know, she's touching things and then it's, um, <laughs> things are falling under feet. She's smelling the lights at the moment. Sorry, I'm just fairly roughly. working out where I'm going to, oh I must have scored that one a bit. Are you alright Lily? There we go, so then that can fold down like that. Okay. Um, so yesterday I um, was playing around on Photoshop and um, so I bought, um, well I already had some commercial use, um, commercial use graphics from my digital scrapbooking days from a long time ago. Um, and then I purchased some graphics fairy, a graphics fairy membership, which I was quite excited about. Um, so I was playing around in Photoshop yesterday, and <coughs> Lily just freaked herself out. Um, and created these. So these are 
another set. So I've got these up in my Etsy store. Look at them. Um, so I've got these up in my Etsy store. I've already, I'm overwhelmed already. That sort of, oh, six, seven, something like that sets are already sold. Um, three of them within an hour of me putting it up. So these are just these new ones. So I've printed them out. So I'm going to play with them at some point. So I've made them so you can sort of you could use it just directly as a page, straight like that. Um, or obviously to um, cut up. Oh, that's for my neutrals one. So there you go. So that was the new ones that I just did, which I was really excited about. This purple, well this one here, it's the purple and the blue mottled together. I think that must be my favourite. Um, so yeah, I just put them in my Etsy store. So I'm looking forward to playing with those. So I've printed them, but then I got stuck on doing these envelopes. So I'm doing these envelopes. <laughs> right. So they're folded. This one's folded. That will work. Sweet little thing. And then this one's fine because I actually followed the proper sizing of that one. Oh, well, I should do it that way. So if I fold it that way, the plant going that way then the writing sort of is visible oh, I like that. mm, that's terrible okay. um yeah, for that way which looks all right I mean, it won't matter, it'll be collaged over, won't it? So there we go. Okay, stop messing around. Let's go with this one first. So, sorry for leaning across, I just want to get some of my scraps that I have. Scraps of paper. funny isn't it you always sort of go to start with music paper well I do that's why always my starting my starting point I also bought some new glue sticks actually but um, I'm still using this blue one so I'll use this one but some Elmer's one see how that goes right I can hear Lulu playing around on the, I think she found a ping pong ball, table tennis ball. <laughs> Always find random balls and toys around because of the children with work. a lot. Where's my, oh, sorry, I'm just grabbing my drink. There we go. Here's some of this moving. I test out my fabric glue. It'll be exciting. Or even just I don't know whether I still worry because it makes it impossible to write on the fabric underneath. Oops. 
set with this one. Sorry, go quiet for a little while. Actually, it's got some blank paper. Oh, there's some more of that. So actually, this house plant paper had some. Although it's the same colour, so that would be weird. of one of my this is some of the coffee dyed paper that I've got my digitals get the doily effect with no actual bulk I might put some ink around that first and see what I think about that. Um, I used up the last of whatever matte photo paper, photo paper I had. It was actually quite old. I've been hanging around for a while. I don't think I actually printed photos for a while because I've had a laser printer for a long time. Um, so yeah, I um, we finally printed up Matthew's old, or well, old, not that old, Matthew's inkjet printer that we hadn't had been sitting around for a while. So we finally did that. So that was quite good. So now I've been using up the old paper before I go and buy any new paper. I have to have a bit of a hunt around and find some I like. I'm doing quite dark inking just because it's got it's got quite a strong white core this paper there we go so we're gonna roast for lunch, yum. Matt does a beautiful um, roast pork. We'll get a roast belly piece and yeah, yum. Here's some, I'm gonna run out of this eyelet lace soon. Oh, that's when I cut it from my, my other book. Let's give this fabric glue a, let's break it open, well, give it a go anyway. It's supposed to be sets quickly and permanent, so don't stuff it up. the theory Actually, so that's already well oh, it's already sticking but that looks better and in my journal let's grab it oops make a loud noise so when I was doing this, I don't know whether you can see, but it's a bit of a line. Oops, oh, I thought I spilled my drink there. Um, you can see where I put the tacky glue with this eyelet lace. Um, but this is actually, you can't see it. So that's cool. I was going to put the label, I wasn't going to put the label. I think now I'm going to put the label. I don't know. Let's put the label.
Oh, I like that. So that fat balloon is pretty much already stuck. So no making mistakes, that's for sure. But I do quite like how quickly that's worked. So I'm going to sew around these. So up and around. I've got some postage stamps actually. I need to sort them. I've got a massive amount from my childhood collecting stamp days. I've decided they're just taking up room. <laughs> so I'm making the decision to get rid of them. Which is a bit sad. Do I want to write something, put something on the back as well? I think so. Maybe. Is this greenery? dark again. So my friend that comes around scrapbooking, she hasn't come for a few weeks because we've had uh, stuff on on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, sorry. And a couple of times we haven't, we've been, either me or her have not been well. <laughs> so it feels like ages, I think it's only been about three weeks, but it feels like ages. So I'm looking forward to this week to have some company. The only problem is I'm going to have to clean my table, which is also a good thing because it means that I clean my table because she comes and because she sits on the other side. Like I've got a, a dining room table that sort of s pokes out. At the moment I've got my lights and things over there so that we can, you can see me because it's oh no, it's light now outside but quite often I do most of it when it's darkish in the morning I've lost my little note paper what have I done with it oh, there it is I need to do some more coffee dyeing but with family around today I won't be in the kitchen today because I'll be helping cook or being kicked out <laughs> and being sent to tidy the dining room because the dining room table is covered in stuff but, so that's really simple but I actually really like that I've got some stickers Oh, that's quite pretty. First one. Sorry, I'm probably out of shot there. I might use that one. Go with my first instant or... I don't know. I like this one. Oh, that's a good point. Do I stay with leaves okay stay with leaves seems this one is green and leaves anyway oh. there we go my leaves is a bit crooked but that's okay it doesn't bother me so much in this context so there we go Ink. 
apparently I can't leave well enough alone. <laughs> I don't know, I did it on that side. Actually, before I do anything else, I might so, cut the corners because I do like, I don't know why it's habit. I do quite like having the rounded corner. There we go. Oh, there's one. I do quite like that. And I'll sew around the edges. So I'll show that when it's finished. And there was one of the other big ones. Let's do the pretty flower one. Let's do the... That's because I've got my corner around it right here. I might actually do all the corners. see that but then when it's all it's all rounded okay I do love this this is pretty okay lay down a bit of one thing I find it's funny like I quite like to Obviously, I craft, I'll put the video on and record it. But I often watch videos while I'm crafting. So, obviously, when I'm recording, I don't do that. So, sometimes it's a bit odd. Oh, I normally have other voice going in the background. So, that's a bit funny. But there's none because... <laughs> Because <laughs> um, obviously I can't have someone else's video playing in the background. I can't have music playing because that then ends up copyright stuff. So yeah, it's amusing. Also, the other thing I'm finding myself going. So I've got a couple of projects I want to do, but then I'm like, oh, that'd be good to video them. So then I don't start them any other time because I'm not videoing and during the day it's a bit hard to video because their house is so noisy and honestly, oh, I've left the switch on so we're probably hearing all that background noise. Ah, I didn't think about that. I might pause. Hang on. Oh. Okay, I'm back. So, anyone who's watched the last half hour, <laughs> you've had that horrible noise fan, background noise going. Oh, I'm sorry, totally forgot I was getting so good too. Anyway, I've turned it off now. So, if you've lasted this long, now you've got the um, no noise happening. Um, but that's a bit of a pain. I didn't even think about that. Oh well, I have to deal with the background. It's not too bad, I suppose. Alright. Oh, it's throwing me now. I feel a bit of a tizzy now that I, I did that. with myself. Ah, I will. <laughs> Mine not straight cutting because I'm hopeless but that's why using a ruler is so good and <laughs> like tearing it because 
doesn't matter so much. There we go. I'm going to use a bit of eyelet lace as well. Okay. Oops. I'm going to do that one. I left it. Oops. I don't necessarily want them looking all the same. Maybe I'll put a little bit just there underneath. crowding myself. It's like what Rachel says over at Roxy Creations. <laughs> crowding herself. So I can measure how long I do it. Well, quite like that fabric glue. And then a couple of different ones there. The other ones they had were fabric glues, but they were the white, um, white glue. So I thought, oh no, I'll try the clear one. See if it's similar to what other people use. But it seems to be good. I'm happy with it. I don't know. Without directly comparing it, obviously, I don't know. My stomach's growling. It's almost breakfast time. And I feel like, well, that's got the flower there. I want that one because it's already busy or busier than the other one. There's the other bit of my paper. Oops, that's a lid. Okay, oh, now it's very quiet. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit frustrated that I left that on. I've bumbled my way through all of my first videos. Everyone's been so patient, still <laughs> listening, even though background noise and the. Oops. My focus has not been great and all sorts of things. But people still hang in there. So hopefully, I'll just keep going. It's not that hard to turn on the video. Just got to make sure I remember to turn off the background noise. Silly woman, sometimes. Oops. Oh, my stomach is growling. I don't know whether you'll be able to hear it on the microphone. Hopefully not. Because that would be a bit silly. Because I've already been up a fair while. I've had a cup of tea. <laughs> I'm now drinking a glass of Pepsi. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Oh well. But because I've already had some tea, stomach's activated. I think, oi, you had your tea, now where's my food? on this one either. 
I mean, once the um, once they're sewn, I have a bit more detail on it from the stitching because I use I'll use zigzag or something a bit more. Two of the boys shoe shopping yesterday, so that was quite good. A bit of fun to go out with a couple of them. I'm glad they don't need shoes all at the same time because that would be an expensive trip with six of them. Normally we can spread it out. I remember when my boys, my three were little, we would go um, shoe shopping and be like, oh, huge amount of money. Okay. So what I might do as well when I do these, I might actually look, dig out the photo, the postage stamps. Is that one, that one? Because that's got the lined paper. I don't think I'll worry about a, a different label. Well, Maybe? No one at this one? Oh, I don't know now. I'll put the cover over the writing. Not that I mind too much about that. <laughs> I've got a heap of old like 1920s children's like schoolboy annual things, hobby annuals that I got the other weekend that were falling apart so I need to take them apart. Okay, okay there's those two. I've got one more of these big ones. Oops, that went a bit wonky. Oh. I really hope you can't hear my stomach <laughs> growling. <laughs> it sounds terrible. Oops. So I think I said in another video, we've got a nice quiet weekend, week this coming week, because it's a public holiday on Monday. So an extra day off, and then Matthew is off, which is nice. And then, oh, this is actual coffee dye paper. Maybe I'll do that all the way across like that. I'm just going to turn that a bit. Um, so we've both got the day off, which is nice. And then... I'm working Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday off to take time to a couple of appointments, which is good. And um, so it's nice to have the short week. And then I think we've got a three weeks or something. And then off to Adelaide. It should be good. I'm looking forward to that. I'm taking the boys. So that will be good. Now I might tear this one out because it's actually got blank paper, which is sometimes good for cards and things. No. Bottom this time, top. Where have 
I do that as well? It's a little bit like the old way across. Just down there. Oh. Not sure. Uh, oh, got these bits of scraps out. Let's put them back in the scrap basket. My mess. I should put some lace on there because I've got lace on the others. I don't have to, do I? There's no rules to say. It's all caught up there, it is. I also had that. Let's just go from there. No. It's a bit hmm. It's just too confusing. So I need someone to help. Maybe that way. Maybe? Let's cut it. Oops. If I cut it straight. I'll cut a bit short, haven't I? Well, I do like this glue. I wasn't quite sure how it would go or what I think about it, but I do quite like that. Oops, that's, I wonder how that will go. I put a bit much on there. I didn't see it on the other one. Maybe I didn't put as much. Maybe on the brown. If that shows, I'll have to put a little bit of do a little bit of this. There we go. Let's put a bit of that one on as well. Or do I go all the way across? I don't know. Yeah, 
Maybe I'll put some more of this stuff on. These other ones too. To keep with the theme. Unintended theme. Oh, it's very quiet. Sorry, just sort of concentrating. Oops. Wonky. There we go. Oh, I didn't punch the corners. Did I do that? Oh, we'll do that. And then do I have a little bit of. I don't want to cover up my iris over there. I'll have to coffee dye some more of that. What I will do in this one, I'm going to do with my punch over here. Yeah, I do like the rounded corners a bit better. Don't think I can do the other one because I've got. mostly need to have thinking 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 my little tag things testing out on a piece of paper yesterday. Probably have some movement soon. Of people, maybe. Which means I need to um, turn the internet on again <laughs> soon.
so they're not overly decorated but I think I like them Okay, I didn't get to those two small ones, but I will head off because there are things to do. So there we go. So that one, that one, and that one. I think they're good. So they were quite simple. So they were with the full pages because there, there was only a handful of full pages in there. So I thought, oh, I'll use them rather than cutting them up use them for that. I might see if I can find some postage stamps a little bit later because I'll finish these off like I'm not going to post this video today Sunday it'll probably be tomorrow or set it for later on in the week because I have done a couple of this weekend but um yeah I think they came out good I like them Anyway, that's it for now. Um, I may tack on to the end of this video once I finish these off. I'll sew them and see if I can find a postage stamp or something. Maybe add some more to the back, I don't know. But that's it for the moment. And um, yeah, thank you for watching and I hope everyone has a great day. And I'll see you next time. Okay, good morning everyone. This is going to be just very quick finish off to my video from yesterday so the background noise is going because I actually slept in to like nine o'clock so I can't really turn off the um, internet <laughs> when people are awake so these were the um, envelopes that I'd done so I just stitched around the edge you can see um, and I just added a strip of paper so those are those finished off um, I then went on to decorate those two little envelopes that I'd also cut out. So these are just really, really simple, basic little. But actually, I love the way that one turned out. And that little one. So that came out beautifully. Um, and then I went on to make these index cards. So I was playing with my Memory Maker's envelope punch. It tells you how you can do little tabs. Um, I think I would do what I'd do differently is actually to collage the full thing and then punch it so that this top part was collaged, maybe. Although I don't mind it. So that's these were, and not that one, but these ones were succulents from that house plants book. So yeah, so that's what I ended up finishing off. Um, I'm going to, I may, I don't know whether to put them in the shop, maybe, I quite like them, I have to see. Um, but that's it, so I'll finish off now, I'll put this video all together, sorry about the background noise, and I will see you next time.